have a little bit of time today to show you a little little about this book okay so last safety of life at sea and also module code all right also LSA code okay so I don't have FFA code but today I'm going to show you how to uh, use this book as a reference okay okay let me start with uh, Solas publication okay just forget about the edition I'm just uh, trying to show you how to uh, use this book okay so this book is very comprehensive it's more um, applicable to the, uh, the ships you know uh, for those who have gone through the um, sailing called the sea time become uh, COC holder, third mate, second mate, chief mate, captain, you know. So these are the books that they are very familiar with, but for people on board the rig, they might not know how to use this as a reference, okay. So Solas is basically, is for more on shipping, and that's why they come up with one uh, publication called Modico. Okay, this one I'll show you later. So let's come to see the Solas, okay. So when you open up, you can see the index, the content, right? Chapter one, you know, and so so many chapters here and reference with the page number. Okay, let's let's go to chapter three. Okay, this is life saving appliances and arrangement. So two to seven. Okay, so let's flip to two to seven. Okay, All right. Okay, so. 227 as you can see all the life saving appliances and arrangement okay? and you can see uh, which ship you are actually on board you know you have a passenger ship and cargo ship and passenger ship you know additional requirement for passenger ships okay so you see cargo ships you know so all this that you just need to flip and look at the page number and you get whatever you want to as a reference you know? so from there you read through okay so this is Solas uh, I won't I won't talk long about Solas I will show you more on module code okay so if when you have time on board the rig if there is a Solas just flip through okay so there are many many information inside here and uh, you can read you know it's good for knowledge although you're not uh, a modern ship officers you know you still can can go through all this okay all right see there are many things inside here okay okay this is a uh, module code and uh, this is more applicable to uh, a checkup break right now okay so these are the mobile offshore drilling unit okay so this is the uh, actual publication for you as a reference if you are working offshore on board the checkup break even a semi and all this so this is actually a, a majority of the regulation here uh, coming from the SOLAS itself okay so it's a SOLAS okay so it's actually from this book you extract a lot of information from here and put over here okay so now let's look at module code okay, module code Okay, now you open up you can see chapter one chapter two there's a lot of things as a reference is for for constructions okay then uh, chapter three okay subdivision stability and freeboard so chapter four machinery electrical you know and, and so on and so on okay and you, let's see which chapter is more suitable for us to discuss for today okay so let me find um, uh, safety it's quite hard for me to look because I'm looking upside down you know so let me find first yeah okay okay got it <clears throat> let's go to chapter 10 life-saving appliances and equipment which is at uh, page of 135 and let's select one topic we want to talk about okay let's talk about life boy simple one right so this is 
chapter 10.13 life boy page 142 okay let's go to 142 Okay. okay, 142 page, and you will see chapter 10.13. This is for life point. Okay, so how to check whether your rig is, uh, I mean, the requirement to have a life point on board. Okay, so as you can read over here, they always talk about RSA code, RSA code, you know. So this is module code so it's not life else lc code so lc code this is lc code so in this book they will have more details on the equipment later i'll show you huh? and you can see this is the regulation that we need to follow okay as you can see this is length of unit in meters so let's say you are 100 meters in length under 100 so you need to have eight life boy right Hundred and under hundred fifty, you need to have ten, and so on until two hundred meters and over. You need to have fourteen uh, life points. So you need to follow the regulations. Uh, whatever you need to have, then you comply with. Okay, if you read through this uh, paragraph, right, not less than one half of the total number of life points should be provided with self-igniting lights off and approved electric battery type complying with the LSA code so what does that mean okay so what you want you to do is to refer to this LSA code and look at the life boy with self igniting light specification okay so now you open up the life saving code all right so this is the chapter 2 of life LSA code so now you look at life boy all right so life boy specification okay so all these are the specification of the life boy okay and if you look through properly see life self in nothing light okay so these are the specification that you need to follow that your life boy need to follow that is which is installed on your rig all right so you need to follow this specification and make sure it's all intact okay and you look at this one uh, module code okay come over here and uh, talk about self activating smoke signal okay and you look at this one this is self activating smoke signal required by regulation chapter 37.1.3 okay so this Regulation 7.1.3 If you look back, it's coming from where? Let me show you. Okay, this regulation it referred to, it's actually referred back to SONAS. <laughs> if you look at SONAS, okay, this is chapter 3, okay, so regulation 7.1.13. Point three, okay. So you come back to this regulation that asks you to read again, and then again you write down here blah 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 to paragraph two point one point two of the code. So it asks you to read back, refer to code, okay, okay to this code. So it sounds like a bit crazy, <laughs> but this is what you need to do when you read the RSA code uh, module code. You know, they ask you to refer to regulation, go back to SOLAS, ask you to refer to the code, and you just flip here and there. So at the end of the day, you need to interpret and try to understand what they ask you to do. You know, because every sentence they write is like a marine lawyer, you know, marine lawyer is they wrote all these things. And uh, for the layman, people like us uh, always get confused. But anyway, uh, we still need to follow, right? So these are the 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 method of how you use all this book right module code lsa code and at the same time SOAS. okay so today i don't have the ffa code to show you but i think it should be now i think you guys should be if not if you cannot understand please comment below uh, i'll get back to you and 
if you want to learn more uh, you can always comment what you want to learn you know if you still don't understand i can uh, when i have time again i can actually go through some of the pages for you so this is how you uh, read the code read the regulations and comply with the uh, safety appliances on board okay so it's not very difficult it's just that you need to have a bit of knowledge of how to refer you know uh, using the publication okay remember when you're on board the rig when you have time just play around uh, with this book you know and this book all right and uh, you try to find like let's say uh, a lifeboat you know the lifeboat equipment on board uh, rescue boat uh, equipment on board and you see which one yeah, just just use one let's say a lifeboat okay what other equipment uh, that you need to have on a lifeboat okay so then you can find all this information over here and over here so next time people ask you then you will know how to find the information